Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, this video is going to be my August haul. I know it's now October, but that's all right. Um, so I'm just going to dive right in. Uh, so from Sephora, um, this was the time of the infamous uh, epic rewards, epic fail. Um, anyway, I was getting four times the points on these purchases, so at least, you know, that helps soften the blow. Uh, and it was 4% Ebates at the time. Uh, so, so anyway, so some Sephora purchases. Um, the first thing I got was the Paracone MD uh, No Concealer Concealer Broad Spectrum 35. This is a mineral only sunscreen um, that's included. And this is what the packaging looks like. Uh, kind of your standard tube. Um, and it has kind of doe foot, like a flat doe foot, kind of the same as the Urban Decay. And that's kind of what it looks like. I like the idea of this, but I feel like on its own, it's too yellow for my skin tone. Um, like I need a lighter and a pinkier version. Um, Because, I mean, it does, it has enough pigment where it matters. Uh, I like the sunscreen. I like that it's SPF 35, but I haven't actually been wearing it that much because I just feel like it doesn't really suit me on a skin tone basis. Uh, but anyway, I did get the VIB um, gift with purchase, I guess. They were giving out some variation of this at the... VIB whatever insider event, but I typically don't go to those. Uh, so there is a sample of the Benefit Professional, and that's what that looks like. I have samples of this that I've I don't think I've ever used. Um, there's a sample of the Elizabeth and James White, uh, which is peony musk. Mujet? I don't know. Um, I have like the mini roller ball of that from like a 100 point perk or something. And then a sample of the original Chloe fragrance. Uh, there is a sample of the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant, which I use um, prior to putting on lashes. Um, so it's alright. I, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite, but and then there is a sample of the L'Occitane Lox, um, hand cream. This is 0.3, point, yeah, 0.3 ounce. Always good to have another one of those. Uh, there is a mini of the Kat Von D Trooper tattoo liner. Um, I have the full size. I used it today. Um, so glad to have that. And then a sample of the Glam Glow Youth Cleanse Daily Exfoliating Cleanser, which I have not tried. Uh, I feel like that's probably too intense for my skin, but it's all right. And finally, I haven't even opened this. This is a sample of the Rouge Infusion in the shade Peony. I guess it's part of their neutrals. And... I'm excited about this, actually. Okay, so it seems like it's a lot sheerer than the, uh, what are they called? Their lip stain. Rouge uh, cream lip stain. I think this is obviously a different formula. Um, so that looks like a nice shade. I'll be happy to wear that. And I just took a wipe, and I can see that it left definitely left some color behind. So I guess it does have some staining properties. Anyway, that's cute. Okay, so that's all for the VIB bag. And I got the Urban Decay. Uh, Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer, which I've been using and I've really enjoyed. Uh, this is the shade Fair Neutral. So I am about, 
I think this actually shows up, like if you get color match with the Pantone um, gadget they have, uh, I can't remember what my shade is in that off the top of my head, but I'm about an NW15, somewhere in there. Um, and this matches me pretty well. I think this comes up as one of the matches either at my Pantone color or one plus or minus. So um, that's a good one. And I also got, I think with that order, I got a little sample of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. And um, this is cute. It has a little pump. This is in the shade 117 or Y225. Um, I knew when I got this that it wasn't going to be my shade. It's two, it's yellow based and I need a red based one. Um, I kind of got it just to kind of feel the formula and I did go to Sephora to get color match and to try and get a sample and the woman I spoke to just wasn't helpful at all. Like she was trying to tell me I had yellow undertones and I'm like, no. So I just, I kind of gave up on that endeavor, but I, I can at least try this. Um, I think I might actually prefer the stick form of this foundation, so I might give that a try at some point. And I got two Clinique lipsticks. I got their Nude Pop and Beige Pop. And I'm sure you've seen these swatched a bunch. So I can't remember which one of these I liked better. I've worn both of them. That is Nude Pop. I kind of wish these had magnetic packaging. I think they just feel a little bit nicer. Maybe I liked Beige Pop better. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, those are nice formula-wise. And I think that was all for kind of the Sephora um, Epic Rewards period. Okay, I also purchased um, two Morphe palettes uh, from Hot Look actually, and these were, I think they were 15 each. So I got the 35W, which is a, I think it's their warm palette. And I also got the 35T, which is like their taupe. So this to me, the, the colors in this almost, um, they're like too similar. Like I wish there were like some really light shimmery shades to really brighten up the lid. Like I can pull those from other eyeshadows that I have, but I feel like when you have a palette of this size, you really shouldn't have to reach for um, anything else. They feel pretty good. I guess like for a $15 palette, getting this many colors, you can't really complain. Yeah, this one doesn't really have, I mean, this one, the center, I guess that's about as light and shimmery as I'm gonna get out of that. And that's kind of my, um, it's right there. The, my go-to eye look is like a really shimmery um, champagne or beigey color with a light brown or darker brown in the crease. And so not to be able to do that, um, you know. But at least I got to try those out. Uh, so I, <laughs> speaking of palettes, um, I finally got the Visart or Viseart palette, and I wasn't really planning on getting this, but I got it. I purchased it from Friends Beauty, that's F R E N D S, and they had some sort of sale. It's kind of a pain to open, actually. I don't even know how I found out about it, but um, I always feel like I'm going to chip a nail. Ah, oh, all right. Um, I got this for $54.99, and this is their Neutral Matte Palette. Um, I don't, I don't think I would have paid 
80 for this. Um, so it's a nice matte palette. I don't, I don't know that I would consider it to be the be all end all of neutral palettes like some people have um, kind of suggested. But I think for the price, you know, I kind of wanted to see what all the fuss was about and it has a nice collection of shades that you can kind of round out an eye look with. You, you know, there's there's a black, there's a almost a white, um, kind of a gray tone, some warmer. Like, it's a really nice it's kind of, I think it's useful to have, in other words. All right, so that was the, oh, and I should mention, they were doing some kind of promotion um, where it was, you got like gifts with purchase, basically. So they sent me this little pink pouch and included was a Stila, uh, what are you, smudge stick waterproof eyeliner in the shade Lionfish. Um, I'll probably give that away because I think I already have that. Uh, they gave me a Stilazi matte blush, and this is the shade MB11. I haven't really heard of this brand. Um, feels pretty smooth. It's a um, kind of a lavender. That seems nice. It kind of blended out. Um, so anyway, so it's always nice to have free gifts in the and I have seen they they carry the other um Viseart or Visart palettes. Um I I'm not in any rush to purchase those, but I have seen them have some of those palettes on sale um for the same like fifty four ninety nine price. So um it's worth kind of keeping an eye on them if if you're interested in this. All right, speaking of deals, I picked up um, an Ipsy one. Oh, I forgot to mention, it was in the bottom of the bag. Um, one of the Sephora gifts, gifts with purchase that I got was the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Hairspray, um, which I don't think I really need, but you know, it was the best of what was on offer. Okay, uh, what do I have? This is, all right. I got this set from Eco Beauty, which is um, by La Fresh Group, so it's their, um, I don't know, an offshoot of their brand. Uh, so it has this Good Start Eco Beauty Face Serum, which I used for a little while before I kind of, I don't know, moved on to something else. Um, so this comes out, I think it's, yeah, it's like a milky kind of color, very liquidy. Um, so I didn't have anything like really good or bad to say about that. I think it's supposed to have, I don't know, stuff that promotes the production of collagen and all that good stuff. I feel like I can't really form an opinion on skincare until Paula's Choice or the Beautypedia people tell me what to think, which is bad. Um, but then it also came with, this set um, was 20 I think for both and on their website it was considerably more. Um, but this was the, this was good start and this is good day. This is a day moisturizer. So it's about the consistency of it. It doesn't really smell like much. Um, but I felt like, you know, I thought it was kind of cute to have a moisturizer that you use in the morning that said good day to you. I think they have, um, like a good night one maybe I don't know um, so I kind of figured why not I think I needed I didn't have any kind of serums I don't know I just felt like it would be good to do okay so then I purchased um, a couple things from Derm store because apparently I can't not um, they had a 30% off and 4% ebates uh, so I went ahead and picked up the what size are you? 16.5 fluid ounce of the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Shampoo. Obviously this has the pump. This is about twice the size of the other kind, like, you know, the normal one. 
uh, and I've seen this size pop up at more uh, retailers, like Ulta and Sephora I think have it, uh, but I feel like it's a relatively new thing to have this size available. This size is $49 regularly. I think the one that's half this size is about 30, 32, 36, something like that. So you're getting um, a much better deal. And then plus I got the 30%, almost 35 with eBay's um, on top of that. So it's a really nice shampoo and I'm happy to get it for less. Um, I also got the Tarte Picture Perfect Eyelash Curler. It has a sample of their Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which I really like. Um, I used it today and I like it, but I don't know if I like it more than like my Kevin Aquan ones. Um, so I guess they're not really that different, but this one you just, you know, hold it and this one you put your fingers through. It's just kind of a different feeling, I guess. Um, and the Tarte, I don't know, the Tarte looks slightly more curved, um, maybe slightly more curved. The kind of Kwan one opens a little bit wider, I think. Anyway. Um, but I kind of, I like, I like the colors of this, so that was kind of my rationale. Um, and I think, like I mentioned before, I might pick up the holiday one with all the sparkly handles. Um, so you have to replace eyelash curlers every once in a while, right? Um, anyway, uh, so going back to Sephora, this was no longer four times the points, but it had 8% cash back. So, um, I got this little kit, which um, comes in a cute little box. I was going to do like a first impressions video of this or um, maybe try to do a blog post, but I think it's been sold out um, or out of stock. So felt like what was the point. But anyway, it has that on it. It's a nice kind of textured canvasy material. Um, and it tells you what is inside. So uh, it has this, which I use today. I would say if you're interested in something like this, this is kind of like a, uh, well, it's Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base Primer, I'm guessing. Uh, it says it's a whisper light multi-use fluid that illuminates the complexion resulting in a lit from within glow apply to nude skin or under foundation blend into eyeshadow and smooth onto the cheekbones t-zone and cupid's bow um, so I don't think this is really all that effective honestly or maybe you just have to use, I don't know. I think, we'll just let that dry for a minute because now it's going to look glowy because it's wet. I think if you're interested in a product like that, I would recommend the uh, the Magic Lumi Primer from L'Oreal, which I don't think I have out here. Okay, so this is the Magic Lumi Primer from L'Oreal. Um, it says it's a light infusing primer. Ooh, this is, I've had this for a little while, it's kind of separated. Alright, I think I just need to get rid of this because it's not coming out. Um, but anyway, yeah, check this one out if you're interested in a product like that because I think it'll give you <laughs> certainly more bang for your buck because um, it's drugstore. But So, okay, so that was the Primer Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base. There is a contouring powder for face and eyes. Um, so by the way, this is what, because they all fell out, um, this is what the packaging looks like without any of the products. And I think, so you can remove all that to kind of use the box to put jewelry or to kind of organize a drawer or whatever you want. Um, so, this is the Earthy Blush number 7 Light Glow, and this is 2.5 grams. It's a contouring powder for face and eyes. Um, 
and I think this is, it's around the same price, or not price, but around the same size as their eyeshadow. Um, so it had just, it has a mirror, which is really nice. So, um, and it has a sponge tip applicator, which, you know, whatever. Um, so it feels really smooth. That's kind of what it looks like. It's a it's a nice color. I think it's um, it's a bit warm without being too warm. I think if you are obviously if you're darker than I am, it's not going to show up as much on you. Um, but I kind of felt like it was a nice way to try their powder formula. Um, how much this whole thing was? I think this whole set was like in the thirty dollar range, maybe. Um, then a deluxe sample of their lipstick. This is Military Red, number 109. I still have some lip gloss on. That's what that looks like. Uh, let's see. It says Burberry Kisses Hydrating Lip Color, an effortlessly blendable, or an effortlessly buildable lip color that gives six hours of continuous hydration. Um, and the light glow, by the way, was a delicate powder that can be applied to the hollows of the cheeks with the kabuki brush, which I'll show you, or across the eyelids. Um, and this was the little kabuki brush. It comes in like a little velvet pouch. Like so. You're not going to be able to see. It's like a little pouch. And this is plastic. Um, it's actually really soft. Which I was, you know, like, small kabuki brushes like this. You kind of like, you know. Um, let's see here. I already have some contour on, but let's see how this... I think it's scented. If that bothers you. Alright, do I look more sculpted on that side? Maybe. It kicks up some powder, but not too bad, I guess. Okay. So anyway, so for the price, you know, I felt like it was kind of a nice thing. A little collector's piece, I guess. Alright, I'm going to go ahead... mostly off. I am going to apply the lipstick. That's nice. It feels it feels nice going on the lips. Um, yeah, not bad. Um, okay. So I was also able to take advantage of, um, I guess, the Macy's temporary price adjustment of the Mac um, hot hot dog. I think it, or hoot, hoot dog, I don't know, whatever. Um, so I picked up two of their, uh, the two duo fiber brushes, face brushes anyway. Um, and just for reference, they came in like a plastic sleeve and a little thing like that. The one for this brush is actually kind of tapered, which I thought was interesting. Um, but anyway, this is the 161. And I used this to apply my blush today, and I really liked the way that it kind of hugged my cheek. Um, yeah, it feels pretty soft, so I like I like Max Duo Fiber brushes. 
Um, and then I also got the 139, which is like so. Um, kind of the same, but it's more of a dome shape. Um, and I think like you can do blush with this or powder or high, you know, whatever, maybe bronzer. Um, this reminds me of a brush I don't have readily accessible. Anyway, um, I feel like I, I've, is it back? Maybe it's real techniques. Anyway, I feel like I've gotten, um, duo fiber brushes similar to this before. But anyway, this one's really soft. Um, I kind of like that it had the, the brown bristles as opposed to black, just kind of for something different. Um, so anyway, so I got those, and those were, like, half the price they should have been. So, can't really complain. Um, uh, so I also got some, or one thing, from Kiko. And this is their contouring pencil set. It's part of their fall, like, romance collection, I think. Um, which had this really pretty rose gold packaging. I don't know if these are limited edition, um... But they come with a bronzer and a highlighter, um, which I use to contour. It's not, I mean, it's a pretty brown, I don't know how you would, I guess you could use a bronzer kind of on your cheeks and then blend, but typically this kind of product is like for contouring. Um, I like that. The highlighter, it doesn't feel as creamy, like it's harder to get the product onto your skin and then trying to blend, I don't know, I felt like I was kind of scratching away my foundation but um, the bronzer is nice and that's really why I purchased it I, I was contemplating like the NYX contouring pencil I think um, or crayon so anyway oh I forgot to mention with the Sephora um, Burberry uh, purchase I got a sample of the YSL this is the lip oil infusion which looks really kind of scary and pink um, this is in the shade number five the volupt tint in oil um, so I haven't tried that yet but I'm looking forward to uh, and I've seen that sample kind of in some gifts with purchase and all that um, oh this is what happens when you actually get to the bottom of your box. This is the box for the serum, and it says, do, 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 it moisturizes and restores the visibly softer and brighter skin appearance, rescues you from dry and dull skin, made with collagen producing peptides, super hydrating hyaluronic acid, CoQ10, is that how you say that? Natural aloe, jojoba oil vitamin C and E and an anti-aging botanical complex including Mackay berry, licorice root, ginkgo biloba leaf, gra um, grape seed, and hickory bark. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, um, so I picked up a few things from CVS and those include, I got a sample of the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs in Light. Um, I say sample, but I, I purchased it. Uh, I guess this is like the travel size. Um, yeah, I, I'm. <laughs> my brother's wedding is next spring, so I'm kind of contemplating things I can do to not look so pasty, basically. Even though it's in April and everyone's going to be pasty. Um, but there's that. Uh, so I also got the e.l.f. under eye setting powder, which I used today, and I think it did fine. I don't notice, you know, leaps and bounds of a difference between different under eye setting powders that I've used, so it's worth checking out if you're looking for a drugstore option. Uh, so <laughs> back to Derm Store, again, they had a 30% off thing. I think it was like you had to spend 125 to get 30% off. Um, so anyway, so I got the Art of Shaving um, Shaving Cream Unscented for my boyfriend, kind of as an early birthday slash Christmas present. Um, his birthday's in December. Um, and he really likes this. Um, 
So I, I always pick up the like the kits that they do, which have a mini brush, a sample of this, a, sh a sample of the like the pre-shave oil and the after shave thing. Um, when they go on sale for ten dollars at Sephora, like on Black Friday, I think. Um, so I just get sets of those for like my brother, my dad, my um, boyfriend, etc. Um, so got that, and I got this candle. This is from Archipelago. Ar Archipelago. I'm sure there's a way to say, uh, say that. This is the Excursion Collection, which is um, Stonehenge. And this is Smoked Cedarwood, Bergamot, and Amber. <laughs> it has a black. So that's pr it's nice, but it's, it's pretty strong. But anyway, I got that. Uh, what else did I get? I got the... Um, I got two of these, but I only paid for one. I think they were doing a thing where if you spent like over a hundred dollars or a hundred dollars or something on um, aromatherapy associates, you got a free one of these. So I bought one, so I got, ended up getting two. And then I also got the aromatherapy associates revive morning bath and shower oil, which is like so. And this is, um, has the scents of grapefruit, rosemary, and juniper. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those scents. Like, it's not, it just kind of clears your head. And, like, it just, it makes you feel kind of like, huh. But not, like, sleepy. Just kind of, like, refreshed, I guess. Um, and I'm... I've used, I, I got like the mini sizes in a kit before, um, but I want to try to make like shower fizzies with this or bath bombs, something like that, um, to kind of get more bang for my buck really. Um, so I'll let you know how I, how I do that. I, I thought about purchasing the, like the essential oils individually and try to mix my own blend, but with this deal that they had going on, I just kind of decided to pick this up. Um, so yeah, so that was it. And I also, I got a free subscription to Martha Stewart Living, I think, which hasn't shown up yet, but I got my people one, so. I bought the Shiseido facial cotton, um, cotton pads. Um, because I think Nicole Young Wild and Polish talked about these, and like Lisa, Lisa D1, I think. Um, has also talked about these, and they're like $9 for a pack of 100 or so? Oh, 165 So, um, but they're really nice. I honestly, like, it's just a, like a little treat. It's kind of a splurge, but in the grand scheme of things, it's 10 bucks, and you could use this, use it once a day, it would be 165 days, or almost, it would last you a couple months. So it's kind of like, you know, skip two trips to Starbucks and you've, you've bought these. Um, but I've been using them like for my, um, eye makeup remover. I've been using them for the, um, this Paul's Choice toner that I've been using. So they just, they're just really soft and they just feel really nice. So anyway, um, and then <laughs> one more Sephora order. Alright, so again, this was an 8% cash back, and I think I bought, th this was one of those bad cases where I kind of placed an order because of what they had for the, like, deluxe samples. Um, they had this Luna Sleeping Night Oil from Sunday Riley, um, which I think is a pretty, pretty generous sized sample. It is 7 milliliters, um, advanced retinol. Etc. Soothing blue essential oils, um, and Paula's Choice again or Beautypedia kind of panned this because it has some fragrant oils and like it has dye in it. Like there's no reason for it to really be blue. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to get in the middle of that. Um, like Caroline Hiron said. Sunday Riley has put fragrance in some of these products because like oils that are really good for you tend to not smell too good. Um, 
but anyway, it was it was a deluxe sample, so I thought I could just try it out. I don't know. Um, and then I purchased the Kat Von D Ink Liner Trio, and this is they're named after authors, I believe. All right, so there are three mini liners like this, and where is? Okay, so this is like the they're the same size, they're the same. Yeah, they're the same size and everything as this sample that I got in the beauty. One, although I didn't realize this is a different product. This is their um, ink liner as opposed to the tattoo liner. And apparently these are um, felt tip as opposed to brush tip. But it still, it still looks really nice. Um, but it is in the shade Trooper, which is maybe why I was confused. Because the tattoo liner is also in the Shade Trooper. And I think maybe they make this in a brown, but they don't make it in all these different colors. Um, but the Trooper, which is a black, and Baudelaire, I think, is the blue, and where did I just throw? Um, Alright, so this is the... Ooh, okay. The last one is a brown, and that's Hemingway. Okay, so what I've noticed, um, just since watching the, the one on the far, um, this is going to be confusing, <laughs> the far, the farthest this direction is the, um, tattoo liner, and then I did the, these are both in the shade Trooper, the black, and then I did the blue, and the black, and the brown, and... For some reason, like the I swatched the black twice because I just I wanted to see if I I don't know put too much pressure on it or something. But you can see like the black, like it's kind of bleeding into my hand lines a little bit, and this one isn't, and the blue and the brown aren't either. So um I mean if you're looking at a black liquid liner, I would say go for the tattoo because it is, in my opinion, at least superior. Um and finally, um, Space and K had a random like, oh, by the way, I got this like blush thing sample from Sephora, I think. I haven't tried any of these, so I thought I'd do that. Um, so so uh, Space and K did like a, I don't know, here's $10 sort of thing randomly. Um, so I went ahead, I think it was $10 off of like 75 maybe? I don't know. Um, but I got the Diptyque Candle in Roses, and while this is nice, I think I would, um, if I were to repurchase um, a full-size candle from them, I think I would go with the, the scent base. I think um, this one is a little bit more one note, um, which is nice, but I think this one, um, it's rose, but then it also I think has like, I don't know, like black currant leaves, or it's just a little bit more, I think, nuanced. Um, but it's still a nice candle. Um, yeah, so I got the, the Dipti candle, which I think, uh, how much are those now? Like 65, so. Um, and then to get to the, I think, minimum price. I purchased a powder puff from Laura Mercier and um, one of their pencil sharpeners. So um, I'd been I'd been looking at this before. Not the pencil sharpener, but this was only a few bucks. Um, to kind of do that like loose powder and whatever. Um, I think Wayne Goss talked about it in a video. Um, yeah, so that was August. <laughs> And I haven't received everything I ordered in September, but I might go ahead and film that before too long. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.